and each of these contact records will have the fact that we sent this mail merge out to them and you can also go ahead and re-edit that mail merge file which you can just either print out uh, and uh, send to your contacts. Now all of our events are stored. They're either going to be events that have been completed or events that are going to be on the calendar. If we click F4 you'll see both events that are completed and are on the calendar and you can see them by uh, phone calls, uh, notes, you can take a look at your notes, uh, letters, uh, etc. And uh, of course with this everywhere you're at on these screens you can right click and get a bunch of options where you can go to the contact, particular contact for that event. Uh, you can print, you can send to an HTML file. There's so many things you can do with these uh, grids. Let's take a quick look at the calendar function. I'll click F2 here. So we'll bring up our, our daily calendar. Now these are the things that we have to do for us. We can take a look at other people's schedules if I'd like down here and adjust the uh, two hour increments or one hour increments but every date here that it's highlighted in red will have something going on that particular day and of course we can drag and drop these these events around just click on it and, and we can move it around if I have to double click on it and it'll take me right to that event which will take me right back to the contact so once I've on the 22nd if I double click this and I mark this as done it'll offer to dial the phone so which we can do I'm not going to do that and then it'll come off of the calendar. We have done this uh, particular event for this particular person. It'll appear now in our completed calls for today. So we had a completed call uh, just now for this particular person, Bonita Sanchez. and We can go to her and uh, see her calls and see all the things that happened with this particular person. So it'll come off the calendar, it'll go into your completed events list and you'll have that forever that'll be stored with your contact for a real long time. Again, it is going to be stored with your user ID or whoever user ID logged in to Contact Plus. Now on the related tab here, uh, I have the ability to uh, relate contacts to one another. So I can, uh, for example, uh, with Bonita Sanchez here, I've related Vincent Kubek. And I can click on this little little man here and we'll go back and forth between our related contacts. Now I can have as many relationships as I need with our, our databases. We'll type in the relation here, how we're related, and we can go back and forth and you can see how these work really well with each other. Now let's say you need to schedule a series of events, like say you need to uh, put a call on the calendar, you want to follow up with an email a week after that, and another email two weeks after that, and you have templates, you want to set this up. We can do that all automatically with our electronic marketing and mailing system. All you have to do is define your marketing plan and a marketing plan simply consists of steps. Like we can see here you send an email one day after your initial contact let's say. A week later you're going to print a label you want to actually mail them uh, a catalog and then let's say uh, three weeks after that you're going to send them your cookbook offer. 21 days. So very simple to set up. You can apply then this marketing plan to a contact and then you're going to perform it. When you perform it that means it's actually going to generate each letter to each contact, each email to each contact. Of course it's not going to make phone calls for you but it'll put them on your calendar and so you'll have that um, on your calendar that you'll need to make a phone call to this particular person. Some people refer to it as a trickle marketing or a drip system where you're just dripping a little bit of information onto your contacts. And of course you don't want this to be purely email. I mean I know email is very convenient but uh, people have gotten so much email, too much email, I think we've gotten saturated that you want to kind of mix it up with phone calls, maybe a card, you can send a postcard, send a letter, go back to some of the older old-fashioned methods of actually uh, keeping in contact with your customers. We have a, a label uh, device that we can, uh, I don't have it installed on this particular machine, but I can click a button and it's going to send out immediately to our Dymo label, our co old CoStar labels, uh, a, a quick label that I can send a, uh, a, la uh, a catalog to, for example. We also have the ability to send a bunch of envelopes or labels. We have our, our label wizard here or our envelopes. I can send envelopes to everyone. It's just going to go out. Now, of course, we have an ability to send a bunch of emails out. Uh, we can send via Outlook or any MAPI compliant or SMTP. We have a bunch of protocols that we can use 
to uh, send your emails out directly to your contacts. And we also uh, give you the ability to have templates. So you can uh, uh, just go in here and select a pre-written template, fill in with your subject, your email, and email that out. Now, because you can email to your entire database, or you can email to one person. Now, to, pre to prevent your emails to be uh, uh, stopped by spam, we have a delay function. So what you can do is you can set it, throttle your email, so say you're sending one every 10 seconds. And uh, generally you should be able to uh, send your emails out. It depends on your ISP, but some ISPs will actually uh, throttle you down. So if you're sending hundreds of emails out a minute, uh, they'll actually uh, cut off your account or uh, uh, just block the email messages that are being sent out. Our filtering function, if you click on the F11 key, gives you the ability to set up very complex filters. For example, everyone in the city of New York or everyone where our event contains office. Or Once you've activated filter, only those contacts matching that event filter or contact filter will appear. Then you can do reports, you can send labels, or do mass emails, letters, etc. just to that particular subset of people that you have selected. Now I'm working now with a large database. I'm going to show you what it looks like when I click F9. This is an ability to quickly view all of your databases and all of your contacts. So if I click over in the lower left, just this database, if I'm in the leads database, that'll work just fine. But if I go to all contacts, then you'll see all of them uh, sorted by alphabetical order by last name, or we can go uh, also by company name. And this little plus symbol will give me act the actual all the events or everything that was related to that particular customer. This is rapid, very fast. You can find someone very quick. I'll type type in an E and it's immediately there. This database has about 30 or 40,000 different contact records. So it's extremely, extremely fast. I'll wrap this demo up by showing you a couple of uh, quick things that you can do. Let's bring up the map and uh, as I scroll through my contacts you can see uh, a little line appear between where I'm at right here and uh, California that's about uh, 23 hundred miles and as I as I move the uh, mouse through the states you can kind of see how much the distance here uh, and you can get an area code map of the uh, the state there is kind of interesting there that's one little nice little goodie that comes with the system and if you're on a network uh, we can do things like while you're out messages we can add while you're out messages uh, we can go through here and you know if, if, if the phone rings, you take a message for someone else, you can put them in here real quick and they'll be added to the contact database if needed. Or we can broadcast messages to each other. We have a an in and out board, uh, uh, who's in, who's out. We can take a look at real quick, you can use that. And we have an internal inner office mail messaging system that where you can attach contacts uh, when you're sending and receiving uh, messages within Contact Plus, of course, within your work group. So there's a bunch of things I haven't covered. We have, of course, sales and quotes, and I'm just not going to cover all this. This is just a short tutorial. But I, I really encourage you to come to our website, download Contact Plus Professional, give it a try. This is a fantastic product. It's fast. It's on your system. All the data can be accessed with Access or Excel, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Access. We do uh, have the ability to go out through uh, ODBC drivers, or you can also click on File, uh, Export, and you can get all your data out. We also have an Outlook interface. I didn't cover that at all, but there's a bunch of things that we have built into the software. It's been around a long time. It's lightning fast. It's rock solid reliable, and I think you'll enjoy using it. Thank you for listening to this tutorial.